Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a uh, variant of Squirtle that I saw um, Scott Stroh do, where he solves multiple at once using the same guesses. I like the idea, so with both of these I'm going to start with Dream, Point, and Flush. And I'm going to see if I can work this out. So, right off the bat, what do we know? We actually have quite a few decent clues here. I just have to know where to put them and what to guess between the two. So this is a totally different way of thinking than I usually do, especially when I play this game. Um, I, I just, I have no idea how to do it. So this is going to be a learning curve as well. Right here we have L, R, and O have to be in this setup. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that yet. All right, what about over here? We have M, A, E. So we know there's no M on the top on this side, but we do have an E on the top in both of them. So I'd like to guess another E, maybe second. What else do we know? Well, there's an M and an M here, so I'm feeling like... I want to get a Y in here, so I'm going to try maybe on both of them. Okay, so I got the Y. It let me know that there is a Y in this puzzle. No Y over here. Now, I feel like if I don't start getting them right, I'm going to be running out of guesses. So, I have, well, this has to be unity. I, that's what the letters here spell. Unless there's some kind of anagram that I'm not seeing. So, does that help me with anything? I do not think so. Well, I mean, it helps me on this puzzle. I'm asking if it helps anything over here. So, unity. So, we already have the I there. And the T would be wasted. And there's no Y over here. Okay. So, this is where it gets challenging. I might have already used too many guesses. I don't think I did. Hmm. So if I guess unity in both of them, does what does that do to me? Well, let me just try to solve some more of it. So we have D-R-A-B here. We already know where the A is. I am going to go through and do my clues just so I can focus on it a little better. We have the E up here. And U R E or starting with R. If it starts with R, that would satisfy this R. And then could it be rabid? Is I acceptable here? Okay. Tentatively, I'm liking rabid. So. R, A, B, I, D. So then, if I guessed something with a B, no, that wouldn't help me either. Hmm. I'm going to go with Unity. Okay, so I thought that was going to be right. And it didn't do much for me over here at all. But it did let me know that an N has to be down here. Because there's not too many words I can think of that go M-N. Okay. And did it do anything for me over here? So we know there's a T in both of these. So I didn't think about this. What could be D and Y? Maybe rabbit is a bad guess there. We have an O in the L here. 
Hmm. Well, it could be dryer, D-R-Y-E-R. All right, but I really feel like I need to start focusing on this side or I'm gonna run out of guesses. So this could be ensue. So if I did ensue, let me tentatively type that in. This is a completely different way of thinking because I have to coordinate the guesses between the two. So if we're thinking dryer and ensue, If I just outright guess in Sue, the U it would let me know if there's a U here. Alright, I am gonna go with in Sue. Might not be the best play, but I need the bonus guess over there. Okay, and yeah, not the best play here but it let me know this isn't drier because there's no E there, so. All right. So there's an S. It could be ISS, -S, which makes a lot of sense, but it could also be SE, which works just fine. Hmm. There's a P here. What could I guess? I feel like this time around, I need to guess something that benefits both of them. So, maybe I could do, M, let's see, what, what could fit across the top here? We'd need M, E, or wrong puzzle, sorry. M-E-A-N-T. That would fit. It would clear up where the E has to be. It would also check, well, that has to be an N because of the U down there. It would check the T. M, and then what would it do in this puzzle? M-E-A-N-T. It wouldn't do a lot in this puzzle, that's for sure. But I'm gonna check it anyways. Okay, so we're good on this puzzle. We're down to four guesses over here. We got the N, we got the T. So there's gotta be an A in this puzzle as well. I don't think it's O-I-A, so I'm gonna comp incompetently Incompetently? That's not the word I want to use. Anyways, I'm putting it down here. I'm starting to stumble over myself because I'm trying to think too hard while I play. We got the E over here. So, A R I arise. No, it would aris. T R A makes a solid combination. We got the US, we got the M. All right, we're down to four guesses over here. Let's see what we can work with. So we got the D here. So I do actually think this is rabid. But what could Doyle? No. Hmm. Let's guess B. So let's try to get a B here. I know it won't help here. I could do Yeah, this is just such a weird way of thinking. I feel like up at the top here it's probably route R O U T E. That would take care of that and that. I have a P though. Where would the P go here? Blimp, maybe? Okay. 
B L I P and then what could a E M P T Y empty? Okay, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Empty and then dryly? Yeah, I feel like that has to be a word. Okay, so I got that solved, or I'm fairly confident that is solved. But this side is throwing me for a bit of a miss here. I feel like I have enough spare guesses that I can put blimp in here. Blimp. Okay, so that was right, so I have to guess blimp here. Okay, so the L there, does that tell me something new? Yeah, I feel like it do did. Okay. So we have, let me go through my clues here again. We have the E's. We have the M, so I do feel like this has to be a miss. And then that means the R has to be over here. And the O has to be over here. Okay, so we're getting this one shirt up as well. Let's see. T-R-A. T-R-A. I'm thinking trade, but there's no D. Trace, T-R-A-C-E. Okay. Now I have to guess trace over here. But I don't feel... I think just mathematically I can get this now. But I still need to know what's over here. Okay, I don't want to get too ahead of myself yet. So if I guess route, I'll be up to four. Hmm. I'm just going to get route out of the way. Route. Route. And then I'm good on both of these here. So now my guesses are staggered, but that's okay. Could this be... Viola? Is that a word? I thought it was viola. Or is that voila? Voila. I don't know, maybe. But regardless, I have to guess it here. Okay. So we're down to two guesses here. Yeah, I think mathematically I'm good here just to do. Um, rabid. Movie. Or no, I have to do rabbit here too, duh. And then I can do empty here, empty here, and then a miss here. Wow, okay, so I can't tell if that was hard or easy. I kind of just stumbled my way through it. Um, more, the utmost credit to Scott for being able to commentate while trying to think like this. I do think he does it with the weekly boards, though, which I imagine would be much harder. Um, I might give that a try later, but for right now, I'm feeling pretty good about this. If you like that mess of a game, my mess of attempt, please stop by for more. I do not just Wordles, but quizzes, geography. I play GeoGuessr, um, history quizzes, word quizzes, just a little bit of anything and everything. So please like and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see. Thanks for stopping by.